हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू योर ओन चैनल एजुकेशन फॉर यू इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द फ्रेजल वर्ब्स विद देयर मीनिंग्स एंड एग्जांपल सेंटेंसेस बट बिफोर दिस लेट अस डिस्कस व्हाट इज अ फ्रेजल वर्ब हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू क्लासिफाई देम and what is the significance of a phrasal verb in our day to day life so let's get started so first of all let's take it by the definition what is a phrasal verb in english language a phrasal verb is the combination or combining of two or three words from different grammatical categories what does category mean here it means different forms of words whether it be verb nouns pronouns and here we are using those categories in form of a verb and a particle and that particle could be an adverb or a preposition to form a single semantic unit on a lexical or syntactic level syntactic level that means syntax that means we are combining two or more than two words to form a single word which have a syntax proper and a different meaning and syntax means the format let us discuss about syntax like if i'll discuss about present indefinite tense so what is the format to write a present indefinite tense it would be your subject plus the first form of your verb plus s or es depends whether your subject is singular or not and plus object so this is your syntax of your present indefinite tense getting my point we are talking about the format so your phrasal verbs are those phrases that indicate actions okay and this is a combination of a verb with a particle particle can be adverb can be preposition further they are generally used in spoken english and you can consider them as informal texts for example like turn down come across complete word these combination of these two words will be a single phrasal verb and run into this is also a phrasal verb here is the real concept why we study phrasal verbs because some phrasal verbs have a literal meaning that means they can be easily understood you just see those words you will have your predictable meaning with you like she opened the door and looked outside that means she is looking outward she was walking across the street when she heard the sound of an explosion this is pretty good walking across the street you are getting the point you are getting the meaning this is nothing new but where the problem starts the problem starts when your phrasal verb is having a idiomatic meaning that means your phrasal verbs can also have a figurative or idiomatic meaning which makes them difficult to understand that's we are where we are going to put our efforts to make them learn to make them grab typically the meaning is not obvious from the meanings of the individual words themselves how let's check it out by an example like she has always looked down on me here looked down is your phrasal verb but in this example this look down on someone does not mean that you are looking down from a higher place at someone who is below you the meaning we are driving from here looked outside looking outward but it doesn't fit here why because look down means 
that you think you are better than someone. So, in other words, I can say here the meaning is non-compositional and thus unpredictable. And that's why we are here to make them predictable for you, to make them easy for you. Let's take a look over it. Here I am having a single verb that is look. And different different prepositions or particle to combine with look to have entirely different meanings. For example, if I add to to look, look to, it means rely on somebody or something. If I will have look up, it means I am finding the information in a particular book, on a map or a timetable. If I will talk about look ahead, it means think about what is going to happen in the future and make some plans. If I will write look back, it has entirely different scenario than think about something that happened in the past. If I'll write look for, that means you are trying to find something. If I'll write look forward to, that means you feel pleased and excited about something that is going to happen. If I'll write look in, that means you visit a person or a place for a short time duration. Look on, that means you watch something without taking part yourself. Look out. Watch what is happening and be careful. Look around. Turn to look at something behind you. And the last one, look through, read something quickly and briefly. Here you can realize by yourself that by substituting different different particles with a single verb, we are having entirely different meanings. So in our coming videos, we are not going to discuss just their meanings but their usage as well. How we are going to substitute these phrasal verbs in the particular sentences. Okay? Before I sum up for this video, let's take a quick look at its classification. A simple one. First, it can be transitive, it can be intransitive. How we are going to differentiate among them? It can be said to be intransitive your phrasal verbs if they have no object at all. Like we broke up two years ago. No object. They set off early to miss the traffic. No object. He pulled up outside the cottage. No object. So it can be a possibility you have a phrasal verb but no object at all. They are known to be intransitive phrasal verbs. But what will happen if they will have an object? They are said to be transitive phrasal verbs. Like the police were called to break up the fight. Here is your object and this is your phrasal verb. When the door is open, it sets off an alarm. They pull the house down. This is your object and redevelop the site. Getting the point? This is one form of your classification. Another thing is Phrasal verbs that include a preposition, they are known as prepositional verbs and those that include a particle like your adverb are known as particle verbs. And additional alternative terms which are used for phrasal verbs, it could be like your compound verb, your verb adverb combination, your verb particle construction, two part word verb combination or Three part word verb combination. That means it is not necessary that you just have two. You may have three, you may have four. So it depends on the number of particles you are utilizing. It may be two part, it may be three part. And of course the multi word verb. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for being with us. Stay happy and stay tuned with us.